We are Iowa's most accurate forecast with meteorologist Taylor Knust, certified by Weather Rate, the independent weather experts. Welcome back. Here's the uh, scene from I-35 near the Dow's exit. Uh, the interstate, for the most part, is in okay shape. So if you're traveling uh, north of Des Moines today or north of Ames, you're probably going to be fine along the interstate. It's going to be those side roads that maybe have some slush that have collected on there. And as you can see, the grass has plenty of snow on it as well from what moved through overnight. Uh, still some partially snow-covered roads here in Hamilton and Hardin counties. The combination of snow on the ground plus some freezing fog developing in northwest Iowa could cause some issues between Fort Dodge and Spencer this morning. So a couple of trouble spots here in Des Moines. We're doing okay and things are drying out just a little bit of mist that's going to stick around for another hour or two in Des Moines. But as far as actual rain and actual snow, that's continuing to push eastward. Still some rain uh, falling in Ottumwa, just now exiting Os Oskaloosa and heading uh, farther to the east near Sigourney. Uh, farther to the north, uh, looks like Marshalltown's drying out. Just some lingering showers in Tama County as well as Powasheet counties. Those will continue to push eastward and things will trend drier later on today. This afternoon, it's going to be sunny for the majority of us, so it will be pretty nice out there after a cloudy start to the day. Overnight tonight, pretty quiet conditions. Most of us are dry when we wake up tomorrow morning. Clouds will fill in, and then eventually we get some rain to move in initially for southern Iowa, but then stretching to central Iowa Wednesday afternoon. Sticking around Wednesday night, maybe even Thursday morning, we see some more rain. But by Thursday afternoon, things should begin to dry out at that point. Uh, it could be pretty heavy rain that we're looking at here. Uh, the I-80 corridor could pick up an inch of rainfall, maybe isolated spots more than that. So things are going to be pretty soggy out there late Wednesday into Thursday morning before we finally trend drier uh, late Thursday into Friday. Today it's not going to be all that bad. It's uh, I know a snowy scene up north, but uh, a lot, if not all of that, will melt away by this afternoon. High temperatures expected to rebound to the 50s. We'll be uh, in the lower 50s on Wednesday and Thursday, back to 60 on Friday. It'll be dry but pretty cloudy on Friday, but uh, over the weekend, despite the clouds, it's going to warm up pretty nicely up to 71 on Saturday and 68 on Sunday. Now, it, it may not be a perfect weekend because we will still have some chances for rain, maybe even a few thunderstorms on Saturday and Sunday, but at least it'll be pretty mild out there, and that mild trend should continue through next week as well.